Hey guys, welcome to Jack's Beautiful You. Today's video, I am super excited because we're gonna do my birthday perfume haul. And I did get spoiled for my birthday. I got some amazing fragrances and I'm gonna save the best for last because I have a banger. <laughs> like an absolute banger perfume that I got. My big present for my birthday. I cannot wait to share with you guys. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jackie. On this channel, we mostly talk about perfumes. So if that is your thing, then I would love to have you be part of this family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So like I said, I had an amazing birthday. My husband did spoil me. He bought me these earrings. They're these little dragonfly earrings. Aren't they cute? He knows me so well. He knows I love quirky, cute earrings. And he also got me this necklace too. And then he got me a really banging perfume that I'm gonna share with you. Also, let me just put this in here real quick. I do have some fragrances that I received in PR as well. So I am gonna throw them into this haul video and I will definitely let you know which ones are which. Okay, so guys, when I bought this shirt, I liked it. Obviously, I bought it, right? But now that I'm looking at it on camera, is it giving you guys ladies bowling league? You know, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's cute, that's fun. It's super fun, but now I didn't really notice it until I'm looking at it on camera and I'm like, oh, wow. I don't know that I'm feeling it. All right, so the first fragrance I have for you is one that I purchased from the Sephora VIB sale. It's the only fragrance that I purchased during the Sephora VIB sale. And um, my husband said that this counts as a birthday present. <laughs> So this is by Nest New York and this is Lychee Rose. I told you guys I was probably going to pick this up and this is the only one that I tried at Sephora that I actually like. So I did sniff this one first before I bought it. This is not a blind buy and I really, really enjoyed it a lot. And you know, I said in my testing video of this fragrance that this one was similar to other fragrances and I didn't really think I needed it, but I wanted it because the bottle is uber cute. Look at that, super cute. But now that I've had a chance to wear it and play around with it a little bit, this is a little bit more unique than I thought it was. This doesn't smell exactly like the other ones. This has some sophistication to it. This is a mature grown up lychee rose. This has some tartness to it as well. This is a haul video, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about each of these fragrances because I have not had the chance to wear some of these and so I don't wanna get into depth. I'm not gonna talk about performance and all that stuff in this video because I don't know. <laughs> these are brand new to me, so I obviously have to get experience with them before I can talk to you guys about all that stuff, but I'm really, really liking this one. I definitely smell the lychee and the rose, but it's not overly sweet. There's like a fizziness to this fragrance that I pick up on, but it has a tartness too. So this is one to test. This is not a safe blind buy, even though the bottle's really cute and pink and girly and it looks kind of like safe, doesn't it? But I would say go smell it for yourself because I don't think everybody's gonna like that tartness that is in here. It's not overly tart, but for some people it might be. So definitely test this one, but I really like it and the bottle is just stinking cute and I had to have it. <laughs> so this is by Ness New York Lychee Rose. Okay, this next one I actually got in PR, but I picked it out. So they sent me their uh, discovery set. This is by the house of Mason Mateen. And they sent me the discovery set and said, pick the one that you like the most. I had a difficult time with that because there were three that I really liked and they were kind of tied neck and neck, but I decided to go with this one. This is called Poom Poom and this is what the bottle looks like. And this one I went with because it's very springtime. This is a floral, fruity floral, but it's really just very springtime, very girly, very springtime, very happy, very, very happy. This is an uplifting, mood-boosting fragrance. So this is the one that I went with because I loved it. It was love at first sniff. There was another one that tied with this one. It has coconut in it, and I'm getting that one for this summer. I'll just purchase it with my own money. I don't need them to send it to me. I'm gonna buy it because I loved it, and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I can't remember the name of that one. I'll put it up on the screen, but that one has this lactonic coconut 
feel and it's it's really really good so i definitely am interested in getting that one for summertime but this one is the one i chose for them to send to me the florals in here are a little unique there's kiwi in here which i think there's kiwi in other fragrances too but i don't get that a lot in fragrances the kiwi and the orange in here makes this oh there's something just so juicy 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 there's definitely rose in here as well so i don't really know all that much about this house but i am excited to explore them some more i do like that they're fragrances are on the more affordable side for when it comes to niche this is a 50 mil and it's under 90 dollars so of course affordable is relative but when it comes to niche perfumes that's pretty darn affordable because some niche fragrances are up there you know two three even four hundred dollars so if you're looking for niche fragrances that are more on the affordable side this is a house to check out this is mason mateen poom poom all right, this next one is one I told you guys I was going to get. I tested it out and I was blown away. This was one that you guys recommended to me. I did a musk video and you guys all said I needed to try this and you were absolutely correct. So I had to get a bottle. This is just, oh my gosh, you guys, this is beautiful. This is actually my scent of the day. This is what the bottle looks like. This fragrance has black currant, it has vanilla, there's sandalwood, there's iris, definitely lots of musk. This is this is so beautiful. This is sweet, but not too sweet. The musk in here is the way that I like musk. This is the type of musk that I just love. I get so obsessed with this type of musk. It, it's to me, it's the same kind of clean muskiness that's in Musk Therapy from Initio. I love that fragrance too, and I love the musk in here. This has a sandalwood. I, You know, when I tried the sample, I didn't get the sandalwood as much as I do now. Creamy, smooth sandalwood is in here, but there's a sweetness from the black currant and the vanilla. Oh my gosh, this is so feminine. It's powdery. It's got iris in it. It smells super, super sophisticated. I'm wearing it today. I'm getting really, really good performance out of it. No issues there. So yes, I just love this one. So happy to have this. And you guys were so right <laughs> in how amazing this fragrance is. It truly is a standout, and I'm, I'm just so excited to have this fragrance. So this is by Rania J. Musk Moshus. All right, this next one I did receive in PR. This is by Hez Parfums, and this is the new release from Hez Parfums. This is Muses. I was excited about this one because this one is in celebration of the women in New Orleans. So, so there's a Mardi Gras crew of all females in New Orleans and this is the celebration to them. Anything that celebrates women I'm here for. Also has uh, updated their packaging. This is new. This is different from the packaging I've seen before. So yeah, nice. I like the upgrade for sure. And here is the bottle. Okay, so when I saw the notes of this fragrance, I was like, ooh, I don't know how this is gonna go, but I was excited because I do like lemon fragrances, but lemon fragrances can sometimes smell like lemon pledge. <laughs> and I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about this. So top notes, you have cold pressed lemon, and then you have bergamot, there's red apple, there's pear, so it's fruity of the opening, but the lemon is definitely what I smell for sure. And then there's some florals in here. There's some Lily of the Valley, Orange Blossom, Hibiscus. Base, you have Sandalwood, Cedarwood, Amberwood, and White Musk. So when I first sprayed this, it was an immediate yes for me. I love the way that this is done. I love the balance in this fragrance. There's no Lemon Pledge. There's a little bit of a gourmand touch, but not overly. You get those other notes in there that make it smell like a perfume but it still smells, it smells like it has a sweetness to it that almost kind of gives me this like lemony sugar cookie at first without it actually going into true gourmand territory. It just reminds me of. I've only worn this once, so I don't want to talk about it too much. I don't know about the performance. I was just testing it. I wasn't like testing it to wear it to find out about the performance. I just sprayed it to see how I felt about the scent. It was an immediate love. It was probably my second favorite from the house. So my first favorite is Banana Bread Banshee. That's what started this whole thing with Hez for me. <laughs> Hez Parfums was an immediate, like I need to check out this house after I bought Banana Bread Banshee. That's still my number one favorite, but this one is coming in at a close, close second so far. Of course, I need more time to play with it, so you know, take all that with a grain of salt. But so far, 
it's absolutely fantastic. So I really, really like this one and I'm super excited. If you like lemon fragrances, get your nose on this. I'm excited to play with it. I think this is going to be really great for spring and summer. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. And that lemon feel kind of gives a zesty, fresh freshness that, yeah, kind of reminds me of summertime. So definitely excited to play with this one. I will most likely put this on my tray for May and really give it uh, a lot of wears and test it out so that I can come back to you guys and update you guys on how I really feel about these fragrances. These are all just first impressions. So this is by Hez Parfums Muses. All right, so also in PR, I received a couple fragrances from the house of Tomovici. Tomovici reached out to me and asked if I was interested in trying out one of their fragrances, and they sent me Zenobia. And when I tried that fragrance, it was an immediate love. I absolutely adored it, and I wanted to try more from them. And so they sent me three more. So the first one I want to talk about is Ange Noir, and this is 21. So this is what the packaging looks like. Really great packaging with this house for sure very luxurious feeling when you open up the box and then this is the presentation which is just beautiful and this is what the bottle looks like now I have to tell you guys this one's not my favorite from the house this one did not work out for me this is just not my style of fragrance this one smells very very masculine yeah as soon as I sprayed it I knew this one wasn't for me so I think what I'm gonna do is pass this one on to my husband and see what he thinks he hasn't tried it yet, so I don't know if he will like it or not, but I'm going to give it to him and let him test it and see what he thinks because this is just so masculine leaning that I can't wear it. Now, there's nothing wrong with the way that it smells. It smells nice. Definitely good quality fragrance. It smells nice, but like I said, too masculine leaning for me. So there's green apple in here. There's some, there's rose and violet in here, but I get something, something spicy in here. I don't really know exactly where that's coming from. Yeah, I get like this warm, spicy, ambery, it's kind of earthy and balsamic. I get like a balsamic feel. It's also very woody too. I only sprayed it on the back of my hand when I first got it and I was immediately like, nope, that's not for me. That's not my scent profile. I'm never going to wear this. Although, honestly, I do think I would like this on my husband, but it's not something, definitely not something that I'm going to wear. So this is by Tomovici Ange Noir 21. They sent me a travel size of Demigod 21. This one, when I saw the notes, I was terrified. <laughs> In the top, you have mint, cardamom, and sage. Now, I love cardamom, but mint... I usually don't like and sage is usually too aromatic for me then there's iris there's rose there's some musk sandalwood lots and lots and lots of vanilla in this fragrance but you know what i was pleasantly surprised with this perfume because i don't smell mint i'm not getting mint but i get a lot of the cardamom there's definitely a spiciness in the opening of it but it's actually really interesting I guess I kind of pick up a little bit of the mint, but I wouldn't have known. If I had sprayed this in store and not known the notes, I wouldn't have known there was mint in here, but I kind of, you know, when you know that it's in there, you kind of start recognizing, or maybe my mind's playing tricks on me. I don't know, but I get this like spicy, fresh spiciness in the opening. Sage, I can't say I get a lot of a it's not too, too aromatic in the sage department. I definitely pick up a musky vanilla. It's a musky vanilla with some interesting cardamom, fresh, warm spiciness in the opening. It's very, very interesting. This one is a very down the middle unisex fragrance. However, I can see how some people would find the cardamom and the sage to be a little bit on the masculine leaning side. But like a lot of people find Ani to be masculine leaning because of the cardamom. I do not though. I don't know what it is. My brain doesn't interpret cardamom with masculine like some people do. So I'm afraid to say that this one is not masculine leaning because I think some people might think it is. But for me, it doesn't smell masculine leaning. I'm not 100% sure what how I feel about it, but I like it more and more. It definitely smells good. So I'm going to play with this one and I will keep you updated. I like it. It's a like. It's not a full-on love at the moment. It's just a like, but if you like spicy, musky vanillas that are unisex, if you're into unisex fragrances, definitely get your nose on this one. I will update you on how I feel about it as time goes on. Okay, now the fragrance that they sent me that I absolutely adore and love, it was Love at First Sniff. I think this is a fantastic fragrance. This is Empyrean, and this is what the packaging looks like, the presentation beautiful 
Now this one is definitely up my alley. This one is my speed for sure. I've actually worn this a couple of times and I think this is so good. If you like rose perfumes, you need to get your nose on this because this is fantastic. The performance of this is outstanding. I've the two times that I wore it, it lasted until I showered. This is an extra to parfum and it's it's pretty strong. So on first spray, this fragrance actually reminded me of Delina. That's the first thing that came to my mind. But this, the more I've worn it, the more I realize this doesn't really smell like Delina. But the rose that's in here is that same rose. The rose is similar to Delina, but this has a lot of differences in the other notes of the fragrance. So I can't wear the OG Delina because of the rhubarb note. It's a little too tart for me. I love Delina La Rose. I love Delina Exclusif. But the OG, it's just... That rhubarb note is too sour on my skin. This is what I wanted Delina to smell like without the rhubarb. There's strawberry in the opening. Definitely pick up a strawberry fruity feel. So imagine the rose of Delina, but without the sourness and add a bunch of fruity strawberry. Yeah, so, so good. And also I think the base is a little different too. That it's, it's just a picture that came in my mind. If I actually compared Delina and this fragrance side by side, I'm sure they'd be very, very different. But this one, I love the strawberry. If you know me, you know I absolutely love strawberry in my fragrances, and the opening of this is so, so good. And like I said, great performance, beautiful bottle, lovely rose scent. I'm really enjoying this one. And yeah, if you're a fan of rose, definitely get your nose on this one. It is super, super beautiful. So this is by Tomovici Empyrean. Okay, this next one has been on my wish list for a while, but I wanted to wait until the weather was a lot warmer because I think I tried this when it was cold outside. And I said, yes, this is full bottle worthy, but it has to be warm outside. And it's getting warm. It's getting warm here. This is by Simone Andrioli and this is Sunplosion. This is a fragrance that completes my trio of summer fragrances from this house. So I have Leisure in Paradise, Malibu Party in the Bay, and now I have Sunplosion. And yeah, I love all three of them. So the order actually, this one's actually my least favorite of the three, but that's funny to say because I still love it. I think, obviously, I purchased this. <laughs> I wouldn't have purchased it if I didn't love it. So even though it's my least favorite of the three, it's still really high up there and it's a full on love for me. It smells so good. This is summertime in a bottle. It's called Sunplosion Aloha State of Mind and I couldn't agree more. This is Aloha State of Mind. It smells like Hawaii to me, like Hawaii tropical heaven. <laughs> in a bottle. So there's mango and guava in here. How fun is that? Guava. I just like that word. Guava. There's coconut water, lime, hibiscus, and white sandalwood. And that, I don't know what it is about the sandalwood in here, but it reminds me of being on white sandy beaches. This is so fruity, sweet, delicious. I love it. Now, Leisure in Paradise, if you've been watching my channel, you know I just became obsessed with that fragrance and I couldn't put it down and I love it. I absolutely love Malibu Party in the Bay with the lime and the coconut, but this one is really, really good too. So yeah, if you are into fruity, tropical summertime scents, this one definitely get your nose on. It smells so good, but I will say this one is not serious. It's very playful. You have to be into sweet, juicy, fruity perfumes. So this is by Simone Andrioli, Sunplosion. All right, guys, and the finale, the perfume, the one I'm the most excited about, the big gift that I got from my husband for my birthday is by Mind Games, and this is French Defense. I had a 10 mil travel spray that a lovely subscriber sent to me, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> when I tried it, I was like, oh no, I love this. This is absolutely phenomenal. And then I thought, do I really love it that much that I want to spend that kind of money on this fragrance? But the more I wore it, the more I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to ask my husband for this for my birthday. This is a fragrance that is uber expensive. It's ridiculous. And I knew I wasn't just going to go out and buy it. It had to be a special occasion for me to purchase this, but I, I, we did purchase it with our own money. And when I drop that kind of money on a fragrance, that should be an indicator that I am obsessed and I love it because I will not spend that kind of money on a fragrance that I don't think is worth it. Obviously that's very subjective, but personally, I think this perfume is worth every single penny. 
this is what the bottle looks like. I really love the bottles of Mind Games because they look like chess pieces, and I don't know why, but I really like that. I really find Mind Games bottles to be very luxurious looking and very aesthetically pleasing. I'm not even a chess person. I don't play chess, <laughs> but I just like it, you know? I just like it, and oh, this perfume blows my mind. So the opening, you definitely have cherry. And the thing about this is when I saw cherry, I was like, great, another cherry fragrance, you know? But no, this is not another cherry fragrance. This is unlike any other cherry fragrance that I have ever smelled. This cherry is a dark black cherry. This is not a maraschino cherry. This is a dark, almost, it almost smells to me like a liquor filled dark rich black cherry it smells boozy to me it's so beautiful the best thing about it is that the cherry stays through the entire wear of the fragrance you know how a lot of cherry fragrances you get this cherry blast in the opening but then it goes away no this one stays through the entire wear and it is so heavenly so this has some florals in it as well and then it has amber and blonde woods and cedar wood in the base and i definitely pick up that ambery woodiness in the fragrance mixed with the florals but mixed with the cherry i mean the cherry is like dominant it is very very well done very well blended i cannot recommend that you get your nose on this enough i know it's expensive i know <laughs> i know okay i know but it's it's one of those fragrances that's just worth it in my opinion. So this is by Mind Games French Defense. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you guys. If you did like this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope everybody is having an amazing day and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.